गुड इवनिंग डियर ऑल सो वेलकम टू टूडेज क्लास द सेकेंड सेशन ऑन वी आर नॉट अफ्रेड टू डाई so we are here back with we are not afraid to die if we all can be together children let me tell you one thing and that is that today onwards you people will not write any comment in the comment box okay so what you are going to do you must be seeing the link in the information related to the story so you will your this your uh, uh, we say your attendance in this form the form is the, i have shared here don't give attendance in the comment box you are required to give your attendance in the form attached the link shared in the info as well as as well as this the link share i'm again sharing the link please then i suppose to give your attendance google form give your attendance here your attendance marked in the comment box will not be considered you are supposed straight to, to give your attendance in google form the link is already there and the many i have shared last time i am sharing and after that i am start the tomorrow today and tomorrow your attendance will be marked in this form only this is form or doubt okay so now dear let us start we are not a pride we all we can all be together by gordon cook and ellen east Just have a quick revision of what we have done so yes these are the writer god and we can gordon tell was a uh, uh, olympic player to sevilla and he was he though he wrote this he was not a very much a kind of thing he was a director manager your trainer this shows the headlines of his say Terry, who copied Cook's great speech. So we all know the family, the narrator, his wife Mary, and Jonathan was six years old. They started they they or they planned to duplicate drowned voyage of Captain James Cook. He was a who has sailed round the world twice. Okay, and the here is the route routes taken by Captain James Cook. He read his journey. Green is his second journey, and third. Anyway, so they have gone him. to go around the world trip by to fulfill their dream and they worked according to their plan for 6 years not 2 years 
for 16 years the manager is by this their all your time in honing in their traveling by seas why did he need so because he was a businessman he, he was not a sailor. okay so what was uh, here you see the voyage of Captain Sook. Here you see Gretchen. Here is Primat. So he, uh, the line of Jesus with the mirror, also with his family, started from Glamath and Glamath and they traveled all over South Africa and reached Cape Town. After reaching Cape Town, they were in the Indian Sea. They started experiencing they were moving from Cape Town to Australia. An Indian woman was considered the most turbulent or disturbed ocean for sea. So these are the passengers. The narrator, a businessman, married wife, Suzanne, his daughter, Jonathan. Remember, America Larry Wages have Sigler. Did you know the book they have made? It was professionally built. Okay. It was professionally built and the weight was 30 tons and it was 23 years long. Okay. So, they have went to Cape Town. So here they have been. And the planning was to undertake one thousand five thousand kilometer journey, which was a three year which would be of three would be three years. So it was a big journey, not a journey. Okay. So now they were here, Cape Town. And then, after the when they started sailing down towards east, towards Australia, they know that they started experiencing strong winds. Winds was not worrying the narrator, worrying the waves. Why? Because the waves are 15 meters tall. All the size of the mass view. The highest point. Okay. That went well. Then, all of a sudden, the waves were gigantic, very huge, and the speed was eight knots, high speed. So, seeing it, they started, and the boats coming and experiencing the spray of water. And the noise was very, very painful. And their life raft drill. Life raft drill just to do take and uh, to equip themselves with the things in case it gets stuck into, into the storm. Okay? So they dropped the moment they dropped their storm jib. The storm jib. The small red triangular part. They dropped this. And after that, what they did, they, they had the mooring rope, rope, uh, they made a loop, loop of it around the, the back part of, of the, and then they attached lights. After that, they don't, they wore oil skin and the chicks and, and it. At the, um, the writer thought the huge cloud, but was not a huge cloud. towards the back, towards the stern. You know, this is the stern of a boat or a ship. So, to one in the aft, what happened? They could see that which was not a cloud. It was very big, wave. and and it hit the ship. It hit the it hit the ship. Okay. 
it's breaking of the way you must experience this in the movie which i have shown you moving clip that happen thunder for few moments they cry over it but then the end explosion shook the door and the torrent of green water broke it the writer was hit then he tried to hold the ship it shows his courage okay somehow he came out mast was almost horizontal as seen in the image feeling the taut on his which on his lifeline which he has attached with the boat and the wave walk so he tried to hold the wind which is helpful to control the shape of the sail and he was tossed like a like a doll all over the deck was broken mouth was full of blood but somehow he found the wheel and proceeded then mary m she informed that they were sinking and our side means the right hand side of the ship it was all crushed or broken somehow nare swam towards the cabin there were bunks of the children and they were they from the top bunk he inquired quite from a children is the every the top of the bunk his daughter replied okay only his heart was hit bit because just over why she has them. then i started mending the starboard side so he shook took some can and hammer screws he started stretching the that can sand giving a uh, of the water which was coming from that side uh, he tried to mend it okay and he was a bit successful because of the water deflated over then the problem is when their hand pumps with which they put the water outside the boat the boat hull they blocked with the debris just the rubbish or the scattered remains on the uh, on the end of the ship okay and the electric pump short circuited everything on the boat was mess was not in a condition to work the two spare pumps they were out okay and, and the four stay sail was also the four stay sail the sail which is the uh, which the first also, and the jib also and the dinghies the small man anchor all of these things have arranged were not in the condition to you but luckily he found one electric pump in the chart room where they calculated and they, they check the direction ship and when he did it and luckily the pump worked a short respite So at this point we have completed this that day and night. So night, the night dragged on with an endlessly cold routine of pumping, steering, and rowing. All were doing three things all together. They pumped the water. They were steering the ship by holding the 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 wheel, and they were working on the radio spot. They were working on the radio just to. they made a calls what are made a calls they are distress calls so now first of all and the day calls are see they made a calls they they it start as an international call in 1923 and it was made in 1928 it was of frederick mockford who was a senior radio officer at crodon in london so he has come with the of made because it sounded like the which word made a means which means distress problem safe safety measures they need okay okay yes 
so medium is help me clear medium means help me which is a uh, which has derived from the word medium which means help me. so made a call so this is and the what are these actually major calls major are red units which are sent to the needs in the in the case of emergency in case of emergency okay but they did not unfortunately they didn't receive any reply to their they call they did not reply to their mail why because they were in the remotest corner of the world and there was no ship to reply their mail call it's very very important for them so i am read and explain again the night on the endless bitterly cold routine of pumping steering and walking in the queue we were getting no replies to our mates distress calls which was not as a smooth call they started sending the radio signals it was intention to they were in the corner of the world one of the remote corner of the world. they didn't receive any reply to these Made calls. Proceed. Sue's hand has swollen alarmingly. A two enormous bruises now show up on arm. When I asked her, she hadn't made more of her injury before this. She replied, "I didn't want to worry you when you were in assault." So Sue in the head. The one was not not the simple one. Then, uh, alarmingly, she had, she was then on enormous black eyes. Okay, she had actually black eyes, and now, now uh, she was a, she has eyes. And of that big eyes, she, she had, had alarmingly, and one problem she showed the deep cut on her. She asked her why she didn't inform. She didn't inform him. That she said in wish to disturb him, especially. Working, everyone. Okay. Now let us start. See the children. How mature they were. The children were very serious. They were understanding. She was a seven-year-old girl, but she was saying that her father is with something more important. Then her, uh, then her, uh, her, her bruises, and this understanding has given the narrator, a, narrator, uh, what we say, courage to move, okay, move on. Fine. Next, my months January three the pumps. To take two hours, uh, rest in that tremendous low line. Children try to understand what is water line. Okay, I will explain first of all. Let me read. So by morning on January three, the pumps had the level sufficiently below under the control for us to take to the invitation. But still. I think somewhere below the water line. I'm checking. I found that nearly all the boats' main 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 rims were smashed down to the keel. There was nothing holding up a whole section of the starboard hull, except a few cupboards. We had survived for 15 years. 15 hours. This is a wave hit. Wave walker couldn't. Whether winner for us reach Australia, it's related to uh, the uh, two small islands, three hundred kilometers to the east. One of them, I'll answer them. In scientific base, our only hope of these thin breaks in the vast ocean is the wind and these abate. We 
be going same our chances would be succeed the grip had put our auxiliary engine out of it. so we will move dear children you see here that it And, uh, they found that the electric pump has controlled the waters level sufficiently. Okay, and now, now when the water level was under control, they started taking two hours rest in rotation. Means not taking the rest all together. One was resting, the other you know, like that. So, but they were they, the writer was sure that there is a trim somewhere below the water line. Water line, what is water line? See, dear children, when the some of is the portion is under the water, and some of the portion ship is outside the water. Okay, and the this is the water line. Okay, so the water line is the point where it emerges in the water. So he found somewhere in the water line. There is some some leak, tremendous leak. Okay, and I found that the main main river was broken. The main rib frames were almost broken, and smashed, and they were smoke broken till the keel. What is key? You see this, this tiny projection below the base of the boat. This is keel. Okay, this is also known as center. Of the boat. So what is keel? The length. Was or steel structure. This is maybe of timber, maybe of uh, steel as well. This here, okay. Uh, Support the frame of the whole, the, and this keeps the whole frame of a ship or a boat, professional boat in which he was traveling. And in some uh, vessel, vessels, it is actually a reach to increase stability, and in some of them, it is increased. Like this to give it stable. So I think it is clear. So something was really keel under the water below the water. Now, now see the hull, the starboard hull. You know the hull hull, the right side hand side of the ship. If you see in the movie, it there was. Not except some few cupboard was holding it. Okay. Now from here you can find out the condition of the ship was very poor. It was horrible. Okay. And almost 15 hours that they have got with that way. Now the writer was the narrator, not the writer, the narrator was sure that we walker will build together. Travel till Australia. They were somewhere here. They have started from Cape Town. They're somewhere here in the Indian Ocean. Okay. He started his calculation and seeing the charts, and then he found that there, there are two islands, a few kilometers, hundred kilometers to the east. Towards east. Okay, they were moving from here to east. Uh, islands. So one of them was Al Ansar, which was a French scientific base. It is a French word here, so I want you to hear the pronunciation. So Il What? So what is the right pronunciation? Il Amsterdam. This is French pronunciation. Okay. Other many pronunciation, but because the French word, we are going to follow the same. Il Amsterdam. So he found that Il Amsterdam, the French scientific was somewhat near 
as his only plan to look for the pin pricks. What, what you know, the 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 end of the pin when it pricks you, how small it is. So walk to the small island, sixty-five kilometer high, which was this uh, eel and sturgeon. So they were called pin pricks in the vast ocean, like the pin, the tip of the pin. But was that if the sea will be abated, abated means it become less intense, not the intensity as it was that, then they can host their sail. But they are very slim, very lazy, little. So the seas to age, to become less intense. Especially to their troubles, their auxiliary, their auxiliary engine, their secondary engine was also out and it was not working any longer. But then the other means everything was broken. Even their auxiliary, the secondary engine has stopped. The starboard side was nothing left except some part of cupboard partition. Mending was done. There was a huge leakage below the water line and which was water to enter in the ship continuously so they were only wish was they, they knew they cannot reach australia they could go nearest island some hundred kids away in amsterdam which was french base so i'm reading again i hope this is well by the pump said the water level should be under control for us to take two hours through the but we still had a tremendous somewhere and I'm checking I found that nearly all the boats main rates frames were down to the keel in fact there's nothing holding up a whole section of the starboard hull except a few cupboard petitions we had survived for 15 hours since the wave but wave walker wouldn't hold together long enough for us to reach Australia I checked the and calculated that there were two a few hundred kilometers were used. One of Eel Amsterdam was a French scientific base. Our only hope was to reach these in the vast ocean. But unless the wind and seas abated, so we could host, chances would be slim indeed. The great star auxiliary engine out of. Now, what happened on January 4? January 4, 36 hours of continuous pumping, we reached the last centimeters of water now we really to keep, keep still coming in we could not set sail on the main bar mast pressure on the digging would help uh, will would simply pull the damaged section of the hull apart so we hosted the storm and headed for where i thought the two islands were many some corners mary found some beef and correct crackers and we ate our meal in all days. But our respite at 4 p.m., black clouds began building up behind us. Within the hour, it was back to 40 knots. And the sea was higher. The wind continued to deteriorate throughout the night. And by dawn on January 5, our situation was again desperate. When I went to comfort the children, John, Daddy, are we going to die? I that we could make it. But daddy, we, he went on. We are afraid of dying if we can all be together. You, mommy, and Sue. 36 stop continuous pumping on general. They could uh, got a success. What was it? Now there were only a few centimeters of main deck of the ship, the, the boat, and they only have now with the water coming in. Okay. But they could not set their sail Why? because if they put the main mast, this is the big one is the main mast. If they put the, the, the main mast, then the wind pressure put the boat apart. Okay. Framework of the ship apart. So what they did? Hosted the 
tall tri shape. This is strong. This so they hosted only strong jib. Okay, and then Mary found something. We were this. They had their first meal after twenty four days, but their respite, their peace, okay, rest was short lived. Why? Because again at the four pm, building up, and the weather came it was back to forty knots. The winds were okay, and the situation was desperate. Again, this the Jonathan, six years old, he asked his father, "Are you afraid of dying? If we all can be together, you know the story. You, mummy, so when I see how this small child of six was courageous, courageous that, that he was not afraid of dying, and his this statement gave." Greater strength to fight, strength to do something to everyone on ship, and that's why my statement is so important that it has become the title of the story. What happened next? I could not, I could not wait to respond, but I left the children determined to find the sea with everything I had. To the boat side, I decided to heave. To with the port hull facing the up, up oncoming waves, using an improvised a sea anchor of heavy rope and two two liters barrels of paraffin. That evening, Mary and I sat together, holding hands, as the motion of the ship brought more and more water to the broken planks. We both felt that was very. So after listening to Jonathan, he was determined to fight the sea. And now, now his idea was to protect the starboard side because it was very weak. He is to lift to lift what the port hull hull. You know what is hull? Here you see this for the hull. This okay. Uh, undamaged port hull facing the oncoming. He he made an uh, uh, or what we say the an anchor because anchor you remember was also uh, was all damaged. So he made a anchor. How he made this anchor by using nine ropes and pin. So here you see a ball bag here. As it is back, he used the liquid paraffin bottles and the ropes. He tied to it just to make like a anchor to ship to support the big star boy. And that day, that evening, Mary and he sat together, holding hands, and the ship rose more and more out of the two planks. And they were feeling that near. I'm not reading it again. I'm moving ahead. I because that's very little and some very little to understand. And I hope that's clear. If you have not mentioned it in the ask your next class, I will take up with it. But wave walker rode out the storm and by with the wind easing. I tried to get a reading on the sextant, an instrument uh, sextant in the chart room. I walk, I walked on speed, wind speed changes the and current in the effort to calculate our position. The best I could determine was that we were somewhere one lakh three thousand kilometers uh, of the ocean. Looking for a 65 kilometer length. I made a mistake earlier. It was 10 10 lakhs in the beginning. So I'm sorry for that. So they knew that this huge ocean. Again, see, you see, 
it was 150000 and a huge ocean they were looking for only 65 meter island a pin prick checked his sextant what is sextant an instrument with a graduated arc here in the image this is sextant and it is this a man is using this it's simply used to measure the between the objects especially for latitudes in navigation and surveying so here is extent and here how it is move ahead while i was thinking things moving joined me the left side of her head was now very swollen and her blackened eyes narrowed to slits she gave me a card she had made. on the front top front on the front she had drawn caricatures of mary and me with the words are some funny people did they make you laugh i laughed a lot a good message oh, oh how i love you both so this card is to say how for hope for the best so somehow we had to make it Oh, his daughter, seven-year-old. She joined. Her eyes was not open. That, that sorry, that bump has swollen. The now his big eyes, please. They have narrowed mostly. And she held handed over a card, which she herself has made to and marry his wife. And they are very capable. Can you function? And then say. In, there were words here are some funny people who make you laugh and they both mary and later started laughing inside the card there was a message I both this card is to thank you let and then write over mind somehow we have to make it and with again filled with him. see whenever the writer is getting uh, Sad, like here he, he was, and was near. Earlier, he was given uh, determination and courage by the word uh, Jonathan. Now again, when he was sad, thinking that they will die, the end is near. His daughter came and gave him a, a courage and hope. And then what had what what happened? I checked and rechecked. My, we had lost our main compass. Sphere, which had not been corrected for magnetic variations. I made an allowance for it and another estimate of the influence of the westerly current, which flows through this part of the Indian Ocean. At p.m., I went on deck and asked Lady to course of 185 degrees. I told him with a conviction, I will. I did not feel we could expect to see that at about 5 p.m. So they, they were willing to go to. Uh, so the compass, the main compass, was lost because there was a huge wave. Everything was just here and there. So he, he spare. There was a problem with the spare compass because it, it corrected for magnetic variation. So in this case, the uh, the calculation may be, but he was smart enough. That he made an alliance, this, this version, and then after calculation at 2 p.m., he went to Larry, told him to steer the course, steer the course to move the direction of the 285 degree. And he said, If we are lucky, we will find the island exit as 5 p.m. And writer doesn't know what happened then. Then with the, I went below. Climbed on my bunk and amazingly dozed off. Dozed when I, it was 6 p.m. and growing dark. I we must have missed the island. And with the same I left, we couldn't hope to beat back the So I he the writer himself doesn't know what happened. Dozed off. He went to sleep. And when he woke up, it was 6 p.m. And then he realized that is the island. And he totally went so heavy will not live long and they will die but all of a sudden what happened 
tussled head, a disordered head. Uh, can I have a big, can I have a heart? Jonathan asked. See what was behind him. Why am I getting a heart? I asked. Because you are the best in the world and the best captain. My son replied. Not today, John, I'm afraid. I'm not sure that they have the baby talent. Why? You must be. Sets to matter of fact, voice. You found talent? What? I shouted. It's out there in front of the chorus. As big as a sh. So they have found the island after so many hardships. I rushed on deck and gazed with the stark dark, dark outline of Eel Amsterdam. It was only a bleak piece of organic rock with little vegetables. Most beautiful island in the So he's here, you see, there is a picture of Eel Amsterdam. Somehow they read there. And what was Eel Amsterdam look like? It was a dark outline. It was a bleak area with lack of vegetation. And it was made of volcanic rock with little vegetation. But it was the most beautiful island in the world. Dear children, a black island with made of volcanic rock with little vegetation can never be beautiful. But the writer says that this was the most beautiful island in the world because this was their last hope and luck they got okay. this was the place where they had some relief from all the odds which are facing now they had they will survive and this island saved their lives. why because had they have lost this land no way they would have been dead okay we anchored offshore. We anchored offshore for the next morning. All 28 inhabitants of the island cheered at us ashore. So, ship is always ashore, offshore. See in the picture. So, here is a ship. Here, shore. Let me end the show because you see here in the sea, this is the shore, and here the anchor is placed. Twenty and then and so this was such a small island that there were only twenty eight inhabitants and they took all of them. They took them on the land, and he was happy to find the land again under sorry I'm resting with land under my feet again. I were full of Harry, Larry, cheerful and optimist under the direst stress and of Mary who stayed at the wheel all those crucial hours. Most of all. A seven year old girl who did not want to get out of head injury. We subsequently took eight minor operations to remove a recurring blood clot, skull, skin, and skull. And of a six year old child. So, after having the flag again, and he was full of happiness and positive, he became very. Optimistic, optimistic means full of positive things. Because in this dire stress, serious stress, finally they had land. And after that, see generally what happened when some people started start taking credit. Okay? But see, he didn't take the he didn't take the credit. He considered everyone. He gave the credit to Harry and Harvey. He gave the credit to seven-year-old girl. Okay. And he also gave credit to his son. Because of them were all together just surviving in that and also helping each other. They were cooperating with to somehow get through the problem they were they have shown a wonderful example of team
doesn't work. And see, the the bump of of, uh, of Susan Sue was not a simple one because it took six minutes to remove the recurring blood clot between the skin and the skull. And still, how bold that girl was, how courageous that was, that she didn't believe anything, just went silent. Okay, so this is the end of the class. That we are not going to leave. Okay, so this, uh, don't worry, I'm going to share something with you. Uh, once, once I end the class with, I'm going to share the links in the class, okay? So in the link, there is uh, uh, what we say. There is one close where you can summarize all the important points. What is there in the link? And also you can do some of the exercises and the link where you can the the worksheet. Once again, a reminder, tomorrow you will not be supposed to write anything in the comment box. It will be closed. There is a, uh, there is a uh, attached to this, uh, the comment, attached in the comment, and also in the, uh, in the title where the title of the lesson, there is a link. So you have to click that link and you have to this out. For, for, the, for your attendance and also for your doubts. If you have any doubts, do fill in it. I'm sharing the link. Links with you the link of, of okay. and yeah, we need to study letter writing. Letter, okay. This link which I have shared now is the link of your Google form where you have to mark your attendance and the link which I will I share after will be your self-learning exercise of the worksheet. Till Friday, bye.